filming, painting and decorating Trade Secret, the most popular decorating channel on YouTube today. Okay, so right, what I'm going to do today is show you how to go about glossing this radiator. This particular radiator is in a, a, an old terraced house, okay? Uh, there's all types of radiators, obviously, all the different shapes and sizes, but this is the one I'm going to do today, and it's got like little mouldings here, okay? But what I'm going to do is show you how to gloss it with a roller, okay? So a roller and a brush for laying it off, right? As uh, per usual, if you you're in somebody's house, like I'm in somebody's house, this private house, uh, sheet up the surrounding area and make sure you sheet up under the rag because there is quite a big chance of um, getting drips off the rag. Uh, as with this one, what I've done, I've put the heating on and I've put the thermostatic valve here on, uh, just put it on one. Now the reason I've done that is it just helps the gloss to flow and, and move more easily. On, on, a, on this sort of surface. And then when I've finished glossing it, what I'll do is just turn it up to about four, three or four, whatever. Okay, not, not on full. So with, uh, with when you come to gloss a radiator, obviously, what you've got to do, you've got to do the side bits. Um, same applies for undercoating as well. <clears throat> uh, so yeah, you've got to gloss the side bits, any bits of piping that you want to bring in gloss, so both side bits, okay, uh, and make sure we get the underneath lip here. Right, so let me show you how to do that. First thing I'm going to do is just gloss them side bits, okay. So let me sort that out. Well, I've got here, I've just got some uh, Dulux gloss, yeah, I've just put a bit of uh, oil up in it, okay, only a bit just to make it flow a bit better. So, there you go. And if you check out the one on uh, glossing the radiator with a brush only, it will tell you that you've got to get, uh, you've got to get on these sections here where the valve connects to to the radiator okay now this is the main part where you get the running and your back lip on here anything that's visible okay so that's that one done as you can see it's already, already dropping on the Pipe there already. <clears throat> I mean, ideally, if you've got a brand new radiator, don't paint it and try and keep it in good condition. Uh, the problem with a lot of radiators is, especially the older, older, older models is people tend to put their washing on radiators to dry the washing and uh, that causes a lot of uh, over time that will cause a lot of uh, rust on the radiator and dirt as well so bear that in mind ideally put your washing on the washing line not on the radiator but i mean i do that myself as well so can't complain. Let's do this back edge. So if you just get these back, the back of these fins, just the end ones, first, so you can get them out of the way, and then you can concentrate on the actual face of the radiator. Right, so, that's that done. And I'd probably recommend the actual fins at the back, you know, try and hit them with the emulsion on the wall if you're doing the wall, because like, 
they're quite difficult to get and you can make a bit of a mess so you know you can avoid doing them fins at the back if they're pretty tidy you know you might want to leave those right so here we go right I'm, I'm still using this particular roller sleeve uh, it's ideal for glossing etc undercoating if you check out my video on uh, how to gloss the stairs there's two videos on there about glossing stairs um, you'll, you'll find out which uh, roller sleeve I'm actually using so what I'm going to do I'm just going to gloss a small section with the roller and then lay it off okay don't, don't try and do the whole radiator in one go and then lay it off because it'll start drying especially if you've got the heating on so just do a, a smaller section at a time uh, enough that you can lay it off before it dries okay so let me show you dead easy anyway just get your roller going across there in the top of them mouldings I'm going to go to about halfway skim over the top of the roller Now you will need a, a, a good proper roller that you use for glossing because of the uh, gloss actually pulls the fibres off the sleeve so don't just use any roller sleeve okay simple as that look Like I say, make sure you get the underneath edge as well. And because I'm using a, a, a roller and not, just, and not brush only, I'm just going to get that back edge there, just behind there, with the roller. Now you won't be able to lay that off, but at least you've coated it up, okay? Right, so that's it, you see. And then <clears throat> you've got to lay it off, otherwise you'll just get an orange peel effect and you won't get the full, full gloss shine. So just lay that section off. Laying off basically means just going, just run out, running over with a brush. Okay, cross that bottom like that. Just check that you've got the bottom of these mouldings in. Run your brush across. Simple as that. One thing I must point out though, because you're actually glossing onto a radiator that's warm, it'll start drying it immediately and you've got, you'll get a lot of vapours coming out of that gloss. <clears throat> so make sure you've got a window open or a, do a door or something, because uh, otherwise you'll just end up with like a bad headache at the end of the day. radiator's warm, it'll, it'll make the gloss go that little bit further. There's 
no particular method or right or wrong which bit to gloss first when it comes to the front. But ideally you just work from the top. down motion if you like just to make sure you've covered everything. As you can see it is that little bit a little bit faster with a roll up. I mean, I don't normally come across painting radiators when I'm doing like new builds, so this is a bit of a novelty for me. If you feel like you're a bit of a novice at painting radiators, you know, don't put the heating on even on like one and just for the fact that because you've got that little bit of heat speeds up the uh, the drying on the radiator I mean you can always gloss it and then just put the heating on after you've glossed it just that uh, if you think you're not you know confident in painting the radiator don't put the heating on because uh, it does speed it up and you don't want it to start drying on you when you're taking too long to do it. So, see this is going off already. Nice gloss finish you see. Just lay it off. And that's basically it. I say gloss the radiator with a roll up. Like I say, check, check out how to, how, how to gloss the staircase out. That'll tell you what roller sleeve I use for, for doing doors and flat surfaces like this to speed things up. Okay, and then just uh, <clears throat> come back in about 15 20 minutes, check the runs, especially on these. Bottom of these uh, mouldings here. Okay, now well, that's all glossed up. So what I'm going to do is just turn the thermostatic valve up. I'll turn the touch to about four. You got one to five on that, so I'll just keep it on about four. That'll actually dry it off quite quickly. But like I say, make sure you got a window open because um, you do get a lot of fumes from the paint coming off there. Okay, so anyway, hope you enjoyed the video on how to gloss a radiator with a roller and lay it off with a brush. Um, don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Google+, Instagram and uh, Tumblr. Uh, comments, thumbs up, most welcome. Until next time, catch you later.